Hi and welcome to the Navitrans video series. My name is Tain and in this video I will show you how you can use Excel to create reports. There are three good reasons to use this functionality. First, get better insight from your data. Second, create reports yourself and use the familiar Excel functionalities. And third, once in Excel it's very easy to make your own graphs. On the Rule Center, via the search functionality, I'll look for Excel templates, which are a part of our Office integration. In this list, I've set up an Excel template, which shows me the revenue per route. So let's go through the setup. First, you need to choose the master table, Shipment Movements. If you want to export this to Excel, you can choose for a header line, a header bolt and so on, so I'll tick off all these boxes. The export type is set to open Excel and of course you can set it up differently. The documents will be saved in a certain folder and the name of the Excel is also filled in. Let's go to the details. From the table shipment movement, I've added the fields which I'd, which I'd like to export. Starting address, ending address and so on. I've ticked off filter on field in which I'm able to select the data which is currently in my database. I also allow the filter to be changed as I want to know the revenue for multiple routes. Ok, let's add another table and link it to my shipments and in consequence to my movements. The linked table will be file and the fields I'll add are file number and file services. I'll export the value, set up the Excel columns, say the result needs to be underlined and in italic, and I want to see the total sum of the services. Ok, now let's export to Excel. Because of the setup earlier, I now have a list of fields which I can filter on and export the data. In this case, I will export all movements with status executed from the 1st of January until now and have them with the filter on and address Germany. Let's confirm the filters. Navitrans is now looking to the different tables and will export the data based on our setup. So here you go, status executed, the end address in Germany, results in italic and underlined, and I also have the total sum. Thank you for watching this Navitrans video.